Yes, I need to report a trespassing. Alright, uh, where are you uh, Where are you located, sir? I'm at 1234 County Road 2340. Alright, what's going on today? I got these high school kids. They're trespassing on my property again. They're out here having a party. Alright, do you know how many of them there are? Uh, there's probably 10 or kids or so. Alright, now what's your name, sir? My name is uh, Josh. Alright, Josh. Can you tell me about what city this is close to? Uh, it's near Halton. Alright. Alright. Yes. Come down 450, you hang your left on 2340 and it's right there. Alright, sir. All of a sudden, that, okay? Uh, if, if anything changes, uh, is this the, the number that you're calling from? Is this a good contact number? Yes, sir. Alright, if anything changes, is, uh, give us a call back and if I need to, I'll just talk to you. I'll have a call you from this number. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you.
You sit there? Mm hmm.
deceased. We left them before you today and their families that you'd be with them. I pray for all the students that are here, Father, that they'd realize the dangers of drinking and driving and texting and driving. Be with this situation, these families. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, at this time I'm going to call cause number 16-090X, the state of Texas versus Grace Fincher. Ms. Fincher, would you please stand? <coughs> Ms. Fincher, in this cause, the state, the jury, having heard the evidence in this matter, has found you guilty of the offense of intoxication manslaughter on two counts in this case, ma'am. The jury has assessed your punishment at 20 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division for each count. Therefore, this court also finds you guilty of the offense of intoxication manslaughter. This court also follows the jury's recommendation, and this court will sentence you to 20 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division for each count before the court. The court is, based on the facts and circumstances of this case, and based on the fact that these were two young individual lives that you took, the court is going to assess that the sentences be run concurrently, or in other words, stacked, ma'am, meaning that you will serve 40 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. You will, I will also make a finding that a deadly weapon was used in the commission of these offenses, and therefore that will enact the statute for relative to one half the sentence imposed. At this time, is there a victim's uh, impact statement? No, Your Honor, there is no victim's impact statement. All right. Ms. Fincher then, ma'am, I want you to think about this. You took one <coughs> night out of your life, one night, and you ruined so many others. There's many, many people in this courtroom that are victims as opposed to just yourself. You have other families here that are victims over one night of drinking alcohol because people want to have a good time. So for at least the minimum of the next 20 years, ma'am, you will be laying there thinking about what you did to yourself as well as your friends. And I hope that will impact you. I hope you will reach out to get help that you so desperately need. And I hope you also search amongst yourself to try and fix what you've done. If there's nothing further on behalf of the state or the defense at this time, I'm going to remand you in the custody of the Harrison County Sheriff's Department to be transported to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division to serve out your sentence. Bailiff, if you and the officers will please take the defendant into custody and transport her to the jail. <laughs> 